What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my handsome, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, Scorpio, so we're going to pull some messages, okay? If anything resonates, I hope you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment, let Blue Flame know what's going on, and if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? God, oh, Scorpio, I'm tired of y'all cars falling in the damn for today. Okay. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, we have freedom, okay? So this talks about being single, okay? Someone here could have recently, you know, ended a situation, a, a marriage or a relationship, okay? And it's like someone here is feeling a little bit lighter now that they're free, okay? I feel like someone here is like, Maybe looking, you know, casually to date someone, but it's like they're not looking for anything single because someone here, I feel like, just wants to enjoy their freedom here, okay? So someone here, Scorpio, could have recently became free. You know what I'm saying? They could have been in a situation, marriage, something, okay? And it's like that situation is over with, okay? And now, Scorpio, this person is free, okay? So let's see what this means, okay? This also talks about that you can casually meet someone. So let's see what these cards say. All right, messages from my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. So this reading is about Scorpio, about someone that's single and being free. Ooh, okay, ooh, okay. Ah, shit, here we go, Scorpio. So someone, Scorpio, I feel like it has been recently, like I said, been set free, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, that is enjoying being single, okay? Now, this could be you or this could be someone that you're dealing with, okay? Now, some of you guys, you could receive some type of communication from someone, okay? This could be a text, this could be a phone call, or this could be an online message, like a, a DM or... I don't know all about online because all I did was message you on Facebook and Instagram, okay? <laughs> but somewhere here, Scorpio, could be communicating to you now that they are free, Scorpio, okay? This person could communicate by phone, text message, online message here, okay? What the hell is going on? Okay. But, Scorpio, beware. Because whoever this person is coming in, Scorpio, okay, they can only be wanting a quick win, okay? Because remember, now if this person is free, Scorpio, they're just looking for something casual. You know what I'm saying? Casual sex, casual this, casual that, okay? This is someone, Scorpio, that I feel like is not looking for, you know, a commitment or a long-term relationship, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, beware, when you receive this communication, okay? Because this could be someone, Scorpio, that's only interested in sex. You know what I'm saying? They want quick queen. Or this could be someone, Scorpio, that's communicating with you because they feel like they're on some type of shot clock. You know what I'm saying? They feel like time is not on their side, okay? So this could have been someone that maybe wasted a lot of time, you know what I'm saying? Or it took this person a long time to come towards you here. Messages for my Scorpio. We're going to clarify, Scorpio. All right, messages from my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. Mm, okay. So this is someone, Scorpio, that is still learning, okay? And that's why I'm telling you, Scorpio, please beware. Because some of you guys, if this person comes towards you, will get excited thinking, all oh, that done change. This is what Blue Flame was talking about. No, this, this ain't what we talking about, okay? Because this person, Scorpio, still needs to grow spiritually, okay? They're expanding their mind. They're learning. But I feel like this person is still not there yet because they're only interested in short-term situations, okay? I ain't seen nothing about no commitment or no relationship, okay? And Scorpio, there's gossip going on, okay? Now, Scorpio, there could be some neighbors, some people around you, Scorpio, that's gossiping about you. There could be some Scorpio people that's gossiping about this situation, okay? Or it's like someone's coming towards you and be like, Scorpio, I heard this through the grapevine here, okay? Let's look at, let me see about this gossip. Holy Spirit, tell us about this gossip. What is this gossip about? Messages from my Scorpio. What is this gossip about, Holy Spirit? Okay, Scorpio, this gossip is about someone here who may have experienced a lot of blocks, a lot of delays, or a lot of obstacles, Scorpio, when it came about you, okay? I feel like someone intentionally play some delays or blockages on someone's path, Scorpio, so that this person can come towards you, okay? But this is in reverse, okay? So this talks about no more delays, no more blockages, okay? And what these delays or blockages could have been, Scorpio, was that this person was involved in someone else, okay? They were already tied down 
in another marriage, another situation, whatever it was, okay? And now people could be gossiping about this, okay? Because this could be someone, Scorpio, that's coming towards you, you know what I'm saying? Coming towards you, Scorpio, want to communicate, want to tell you something here? Tell us about gossip, Holy Spirit. What is this gossip about? What is this gossip pertaining to, Holy Spirit? All right, Scorpio, for some of you guys, this gossip has to do about a dark male, okay? This could have been a dark male for some of you guys that you were dealing with. It doesn't have to be, okay? But this is very specific because everybody ain't dealing with a dark male, right? So, Scorpio, there is a lot of gossip going on about this dark male, okay? And there could have been someone, Scorpio, that intentionally placed some delays, placed some blockages on this person's path, Scorpio, so that this person can come towards you, okay? And I feel like now, Scorpio, that this person doesn't have any of those blockages. Any of those delays, okay, that's holding them back. This is someone that's able to grow and learn spiritually. But I'm telling you, Scorpio, beware. Because this person is only looking for casual sex. Like, they are not looking for a commitment at this time, okay? All right, let's clarify. Let's see. All right, Holy Spirit, tell us about this communication. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this communication. I love you, Scorpio. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us about this communication. <clears throat> Tell us about this communication for my Scorpio. Come on, Scorpio. Okay. Tell us about communication, Holy Spirit. Who is this communication coming from? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about communication, Holy Spirit. Tell us about communication. Messages for my Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Give me some time. All right. Tell us about this communication that's coming in for Scorpio. There we go. All right, Scorpio. We have the Five of Cups, okay? So whoever this is, Scorpio, that's coming in to communicate with you, this could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, doesn't have to be. This is someone, Scorpio, that's highly disappointed, I feel like, in themselves, okay? This is someone that feels guilty, they feel regretful, and they feel like something has been missing in your life, Scorpio, which is you, okay? So I feel like now this person is free from whatever it was, Scorpio, that was causing delays and blockages and disconnection. Okay, this person wants to reach out because they now feel regretful. You know, they feel remorseful. They have all these feelings and emotions, okay? This is someone, Scorpio. Okay, we got the emperor now. So this could be an Aries, okay? This is someone that has now gained power and control over their life. I feel like this is someone that's more disciplined. You know what I'm saying? In the past, this person like, shit, there wasn't no such thing. What? Yeah, just make sure you clean up real good back there. There wasn't no such thing, you know what I'm saying, as a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? So this person now thinks more rational and logical before they make decisions, okay? And this person is able to communicate to you, Scorpio, exactly what they want, okay? For some of you guys, this is King of Wands that's coming in, okay? I feel like this person possibly went from this King of Wands to this Emperor, okay? This used to be this player-like energy. This person that was like the life of the party. You know, someone that was very passionate, someone that was very loving, okay? This is also someone that could be very loyal to you as well, okay, Scorpio? So whoever this person is, they're very regretful. They're very remorseful at this time, Scorpio, okay? This person wants to come towards you now, maybe explaining, you know, about these blockages and these delays that they had, okay? Tell us about this short-term relationship, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us about this short-term relationship. I just seen the Ace of Pentacles. Short-term relationship, Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, temperance. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, Scorpio, beware when this person come in, okay? Because, Scorpio, you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You feel safe. You feel secure within yourself, okay? Now, some of you guys, it could be like on a twin flame journey, or maybe you're just in separation from someone, okay? Even though you're very independent, you're very abundant at this time, you can still be feeling, 
you know what I'm saying, separate from your partner, okay? But I feel like some of you guys, this is why I'm saying beware. This person's coming in, Scorpio, they feel like balance is lost in their life, okay? For some of you guys, they have been overindulged in, in, in alcohol and drugs at this time, okay? But they feel like the differences between you and them is too big, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can't merge, you know what I'm saying, this situation together. They don't know how to blend the differences, you guys, okay? And this is also someone, Scorpio, that will manipulate you with their words, okay? This is someone that's not mature. They're not emotionally available, okay? And I'm telling you, drug addictions, alcohol and drugs, Scorpio. You can't trust this person because I'm telling you, Scorpio, they're only after a quick swing. This is someone that's not interested in a connection, okay? Not at this time, Scorpio, okay? All right, I'm going to get my chicken nuggets, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, I almost burned my dog on nuggets with y'all. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, so let's let's look at this dark mail. Tell us about this dark mail, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us about this dark mail. Tell us about this dark mail, Holy Spirit. Mm. All right, Scorpio, this dark mail is regretting a decision that they made, Scorpio. I can't make this up. This person is high. I can't get the damn cards out. This person, Scorpio, is highly disappointed in themselves, okay, because of the decision that they made in the past, Scorpio. That is not the person that they wanted to be with. The person that they chose over you, Scorpio, is not the person that they wanted to be with, okay? And this is someone who realizes that they lost someone who they truly desired because they did not follow their heart, okay? This is someone who was not able to move forward, Scorpio, okay? They lost control where they were headed in the wrong direction, okay? Because someone, I feel like, purposely put these blocks, put these delays on this person's pathway to come towards you, okay? This is someone that has went through some type of major revelation, some type of wake-up call, okay? Even some type of eye-opening event that, that made them aware that they could have been dealing with this empress in reverse, okay? Someone who was pretending to be a divine person, okay, a divine feminine energy, okay, but this is someone that was very controlling, and this is someone they have to take a step back from this person and just let shit unfold naturally, okay, for some of you guys, you can be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, all right, Scorpio, same cards is coming out, okay, this is someone, Scorpio, that maybe they've been in a hermit mode way too long, okay, Spirit has been nudging this person to come out, from harming mode, okay, but they've been isolating themselves because they've been trying to escape these responsibilities, okay? Now, for some of you guys, this dark male, okay, will be coming towards you with some type of truth, okay? Possibly even an apology, Scorpio, okay? Because now this person, Scorpio, is able to have courage. They have strength, okay? They understand what this connection is. Their emotional balance, okay? They're able to emotionally connect with you and able to emotionally express to you how they're feeling, what's been going on, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, that's not going to run. See, in the, in the past, Scorpio, this person could have been a runner. The person that ran from this connection, they ran from their feelings and emotions, okay? They ran from the truth. But this is someone now, Scorpio, that wants to confront this situation head on, okay? All right, I think I named all the signs. We got everybody here, okay? Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sag, uh, Virgo, I mean, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? I'm going to roll these a couple of times. Scorpio, we also have Aries, Heavy, Scorpio, uh, Aries and Heavy, Scorpio, okay? And we also have Heavy, Sag, Scorpio, and Aries again, okay? All right, Scorpio, I love you guys, and until next time, stay blessed.